to talk about pirates now. Uh, there's growing concern from governments around the world about the threat of piracy in the, in the Gulf of Aden. And that's the stretch of water between Yemen and Somalia. And it's the centre of a huge international anti-piracy operation to try and protect shipping. Our security correspondent, Frank Gardner, has been uh, sailing the Red Sea on board a merchant tanker bound for Suez via the Gulf of Aden since Tuesday. Uh, fascinating. And there's a bit of a delay on the line. So, Frank, over to you. Tell us where you are, what the risk is, what's going on, and uh, everything you can. Go on. Sure. Will do. I, I have to say, it's so weird listening to, you know, uh, M4 eastbound back to normal. I'm on a co huge container ship in the middle of the Red Sea, well, at the bottom of the Red Sea, with these massive container ships coming in the other direction. We've got Eritrea on our left, on the port side, Saudi Arabia on the right, on the starboard. And uh, we've had a few contacts, actually, with suspected pirates. We had a bit of, a, bit of an iffy incident yesterday when um, skiffs, they're called, these fast motorized um, open boats that the pirates use. Uh, but they're also used by fishermen. And two of these kind of came very close to us. They did an approach. They had the foghorns going. We had the barbed wire up on the, uh, um, all around the deck. And the security team that's on board, that's employed by a, pirate, a private security team, firm rather, they were out there with the weapons, showing they had rifles to try and shoo them away, to basically say, this ship is not worth taking. Um, you know, they've got a standard procedure that if pirates come any closer within shooting range with their AK-47s, so then they blat off a couple of rounds into the sea as a warning. Um, the whole idea is to stop them actually getting on board the ship and then seizing it for months and holding it to ransom. And tell us something about the, what's happening in the Yemen and also in, 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 in Somalia and how this, this business fuels a massive economy. Sure. Um, well, in Yemen, there were airstrikes... Um, at pretty much the exact time that we were steaming about 40 miles south of Aden, um, the Yemeni Air Force, probably with a bit of U.S. backing, uh, hit some camps where they claimed that 10 al-Qaeda militants were hit. Yemen is kind of recovering from a very difficult period last year where the president basically refused to step down and leave. He has now stepped down, and they're trying to stabilize the country, but there are it's got massive problems. It's got... Uh, running out of oil, running out of water, it's got separatist movements, it's got Al-Qaeda, it's got huge unemployment and so on. And that's making it harder for piracy because um, there isn't enough real control over the little pirate coves where people hide in these little inlets along the coast and then sap out when they see a big ship and try and grab it. And it's, it's, kind of, it's a bit like a kind of safari park where you've got the hyenas prowling around the vulnerable prey looking to pick off ones. And we actually transited through the Gulf of Aden with an escort from a Chinese warship. It's what they do. They've got a 600-mile stretch of waterway um, where they have um, NATO and other navies protect them with these warships. One of the ships broke down, so the Chinese navy put aboard some marines to pr defend that from any hyenas, as it were, that would come in and grab them. And they, they carried on steaming up the Gulf of Aden with us. How hard line can those ships patrolling the, the waters be with the pirates? Well, they've got a kind of pretty standard procedure um, that they, they do kind of board uh, suspect vessels. All merchant shipping is encouraged to phone in anything suspicious. There's a control centre manned by the Royal Navy in Dubai inside the British Embassy. And they, they log and report these things and they send the nearest warship to go and investigate. The problem is that if once pirates are on board, once they've taken control of the bridge... Once they've taken control of the bridge, Rach. Then we'll never know what happens next. But it is extraordinary. Really? Yeah. I've been hearing Frank talk all over the weekend about this from his position there. And it's just, it just is kind of mind-blowing where he is at the moment, the situation he's in. We um, lost a line from the Red Sea. We did. Is that, yes. not, is that not in the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a song lyric.